Indeed, and on a wonderful day, we are here in Chicago with me, Somit Rajiv Gokhale. There is not even any country that you haven't been like we just talked uh, World Hindu Congress. You have been and you've been touring different countries. Let's hear from you how the interest has been because people have been to India, Bharat, but when they go to Bharat, they know oh, spirituality, Bharat doing World Hindu Congress. But what has that Chicago got to do with the World Hindu Congress? So how is the interest and uh, who are the countries, those who are very much into, means looking forward to participate, the delegates coming from? Of course. Namaste. Uh, I think the interest everywhere is tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been a very positive response. Uh, personally, wherever I have gone and spoken to people, uh, they find this idea a unique idea. Mm -hmm. That Hindus usually come together for religious programs, spiritual programs. That is, that is the essence of our civilization. However, uh, Hindus coming together as Hindu businessmen, uh, media professionals, media owners, and uh, education, those who run educational institutes, and so on and so forth. I think people find it very fascinating, mm -hmm. uh, especially those who attended last time, they want to come once again. Mm -hmm. And those who I hear the idea for the first time are quite intrigued and happy about it. Uh, for example, when I went to the Caribbean countries and I spoke to a lot of people, uh, leaders of organizations, business leaders, uh, even political leaders, and media professionals and they have all shown interest and they would like to come. So obviously, uh, because it is in the United States, it is in Chicago, uh, people, the delegates uh, from the United States, Canada, Caribbean countries, Latin American countries, uh, it's easy for them, so obviously they will come, uh, that is there. Apart from that, of course, European countries, uh, even the Arab nation, Arab countries, so there are a lot of uh, Hindus there. Uh, then African countries and Asian countries. Recently I was in Australia, New Zealand and Fiji. There also I could meet along with many other people, uh, leaders of various organizations and they were quite positive about it although they are so far away and they want to come and they all know what is the importance of Chicago and of 2018 being 125th anniversary of the famous speech by Swami Vivekananda which took Hinduism and Hindu uh, people to the uh, to the forefront mm -hmm. in terms of people knowing about us uh, and now we have come 125 years from then our diaspora is increasing not only in numbers but even in our influence in our engagement civic engagement in all the countries so it becomes more important that we come together and uh, organize ourselves create the network so that we can make even better impact mm -hmm. and help humanity in general so Samitriji, as we say, Vasudev Kutum, come taking everybody together because uh, this thing when 125th, Swamiji's messages are good for us for the next 1500 years. I mean, each and everything you talk about the woman, he just shows like, you know, every when we talk about the youth, he talked, he is talking to Jamshedji Tata. Like at that very time, like, you know, such a vision, like nobody even thought of it, like, you know, I want my Bharat to be. So when you are going and meeting people from the diaspora in various different countries, what does come to their mind, in their heart, about their Janam Bhumi? Oh, their, or their Punya Bhumi Bharat, really. You see, for them, their Janma Bhumi could be their own country. Yes. For Guyanese, it is Guyana, mm -hmm. for Trinidadians, it is Trinidad, for a Mauritian person, it is Mauritius, and so on and so forth. However, for them, uh, Bharat, of course, is their land of ancestors and is the la a sacred mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. where Sri Ram and Sri Krishna and everybody walked. So, obviously, they go, go there for uh, Tirath. Mm -hmm. So, that is, of course, there. They also are happy uh, to see whenever uh, Bharat succeeds. Mm -hmm. For example, when they see that Mangalyan is going up, yeah and Chandrayaan is going up and uh, the succe success of our scientists and especially I know a lot of people, men and women across the world who are so happy to see uh, Indian scientists, women scientists mm -hmm. and they were hugging each other, they are all in saris and wearing bindis mm -hmm. and they were the scientists who worked for ISRO mm -hmm. and made Mangalyaan successful. Mm -hmm. So that kind of success of Bharat uh, in even in the field of science and technology in terms of economy mm -hmm. is very very heartening mm -hmm. it is encouraging for the diaspora hindus mm -hmm. so of course it is the land of our spirituality and our culture mm -hmm. our origins mm -hmm. but even these things and i think 
it resonates with Swami Vivekananda's message that the Hindu society, the Hindu civilization should rise once again mm -hmm. because in the rise of the Hindu civilization is also the welfare of the entire world mm -hmm. uh, that he could see it because the message of our uh, ancient rishis, the spiritual wisdom, it has to be backed by our material growth, mm -hmm. our uh, uh, progress in all fields mm -hmm. and how we can contribute back to humanity the way we used to in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we should not be just happy about what was there in the past, but what is there that we can do in the future, in the mm -hmm. present and the future. Mm -hmm. So the World Hindu Congress actually is about that, mm -hmm. that how we can come together today, work together today to make a difference in the future. On a concluding note, let's talk about, you did mention about the youth, yes. the role of youth in this conference and how is the interest when you are traveling? Of course. So one thing that is different in this World Hindu Congress in terms of the, the theme of the youth conference as well as the women's conference mm -hmm. is that the youth will come together in the youth conference and speak about uh, not only youth issues faced by the youth that they will discuss, but they will discuss uh, contemporary global issues. So it will be youth perspective of contemporary global issues. Similarly, Hindu women, Hindu women leaders, activists they will come together they will speak about the women's perspective of contemporary global issues mm -hmm. so how that leadership in our community of youth of women that can increase that can be even more so that they can rise to their fullest potential mm -hmm. and that is also going to happen in this conference so there is excitement amongst the youth also mm -hmm. uh, they would like to speak about these things they want to speak about youth and economy they want to speak about uh, the role of youth in say m media and technology and and uh, you know they do very well mm -hmm. our next generation is very smart mm -hmm. uh, very well connected mm -hmm. globally mm -hmm. and why not so they are going to come mm -hmm. and i'm sure they're all going to do a very good job mm -hmm. coming together networking and creating lasting networks uh, that's what it's all about so mark your calendar september 7th 8th and 9th we're right here in chicago no excuses you can register as early bird is getting over on May the 31st. I think we should be doing it much before. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.